conversation with our Father. I have been thinking about the way we are separating ourselves because of the way we pronounce or spell your name. The same thing happens with the name of your son, Father. I said this to our Father. How are we going to tell who is following along the right path with the right name? And Father answered by a, with a question, What fruit are they bearing? Father, he asked. You can tell my children by the fruit they bear. Their fruit will reflect my son's teaching. If they are following my spirit, they will recognize and accept each other. They will bear each other's burden, meaning they will know that many of my children are waking up and are not speaking the same language, but with patience and teaching they will come to understand. Many of my people are already awake and they are part of the remnant that I have called for such a time as this. And then recently I, 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 I said to Father, I used Almighty God and was not cut down because the word God was used. I was told to use Almighty Creator or Elohim. I was hurt because the person appeared to have great knowledge but did not understand that I am still learning. I avoided him after that, but before I did, I did message him and told him that he made it hard for me to communicate with him because I didn't know when I would say the wrong thing again. And Father responded to me, or the word came to me, and this was the response. The person was not bearing the fruit of patience, love, and humbleness with you. He did not yield to my Ruah Hokodash or he would have understood the importance of patiently waiting for people who are not like himself. Be of good cheer, my daughter, Father said. My Ruah Hokodash knows every language and I respond to faith in the hearts of my people, even when they use different names. I know them all and I know why and the purpose for using different names. I am listening to the language of the hearts of my people. Wow, my response to Father was, thank you. Thank you, Father. And hallelujah. Thank you. I appreciate that response. I, I understand it. And Father responded, you are welcome, my precious daughter. I am always here for you to ask questions. Do not hesitate. Make a note. There is another language that will be revealed to my people before Abraham was called a Hebrew. And I asked Father, well, how will we know this language? And Father's response, by my Ruah HaKodesh, meanwhile, when you are left out because you are not saying the same words or my name, I know that you are on the right road, the ancient road of truth. I know that you are determined to follow my word. I have children that are just like you. I am blessed that you allow my Ruah HaKodesh Holy Spirit to lead you. Some people would rather say Baruch which is a word for blessed, and to say blessed, it is all right. When my son comes, my people will understand. Meanwhile, you keep walking in my wisdom, keep following my Ruah HaKodesh, you will touch many lives because you follow my Holy Spirit, my Ruah HaKodesh. And so I responded to Father and said, Baruch you, Father, bless you, Father. Thank you for helping me. I feel so much better. I will pray for our brothers and sisters who are having the same situation about your names. And I see we must be patient with each other too since some of them still do not understand about your Sabbath. And But they are sincere in their hearts. So now I understand what you're saying, Father. 
that like Paul said, I will become all things to all people that I may win some. So to those that are without the law, I came as without the law, but not without the law unto my creator. So I, I can understand this. Now you're saying to us, meet the people where they are. Have wisdom that my spirit will, my spirit will continue to draw them into the, the mysteries and the secrets and the truth that they can understand. They are still learning line upon line, precept upon precept. And then my response to Father, I say, Father, I pray. Please help us to understand and be patient with each other as we walk this road of truth. Help us to love each other with your love in our hearts. Help us remember that Yahushua, who is known to have many spellings of his name, died that our sins would be forgiven. Father, I forgive everyone who has ever hurt me wrongfully, and I ask that you would touch them to forgive me as well. Help me to treat people the way that I would want to be treated. Help us to love our neighbors as ourselves and demonstrate it in action. Thank you, Father, for creating heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and for creating the world and us, and for loving us in Yahushua's name. Thank you for putting in your word and to heal on 139 how wonderfully and fearfully we have been created. And I thank you also for your word that says you'll never leave us, neither will you forsake us. And I want to thank you for the Holy Spirit that is leading us and teaching us and bringing things to our remembrance and quickening us through prayer. I thank you so much for this great honor and privilege, Father, to be called one of your children. I am so happy that, that I belong to you. you. You are my portion and I'm your portion. And our, your children are your portion. You told us not to worry about how we're going to eat the clothes on our back or, or where we will live. You are protecting us. You pay all of our bills. You heal us of all of our sickness and illness. And you counsel us and answer all of our questions. And we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you. And I feel like the word came to me saying, I will grant the petitions of your heart according to my word. And those that hear this, I will and believe this came from me. I will also grant them uh, the petition of their hearts according to Psalm to heal them 21 verse 2. You have barooped me today, Father said. I love you, daughter. Keep doing what you are doing. Keep reaching my people. Keep connecting my people. Keep being a bridge. Hallelujah. Keep looking to me. I'm your protector. I promised you plague would not come nigh your dwelling. Psalm 9110. I promised you not only salvation of your soul paying for your sins, but for the healing of your body. And I promised you that I would... All your children will be taught by me. So go forth. Go forth. I am making a way for you and for all my beautiful children. Tell them that I love them. So if you're listening to this, Father wants you to know that he loves you. He forgives you. He's with you. Talk to him. He wants you to talk to him every day. Have a conversation with him. Pray without ceasing. Acknowledge him. And he will direct your your footsteps. The, the, the footsteps of a good man are ordered by the Creator. Hallelujah. I love you too, Father. And I love all your children with their different languages and their different ways of expressing themselves as they follow after your truth. Amen. I love the fact that Abraham is the father of many nations. And I love the fact that, Father, I, I, I done met a, many different people from different walks of life, or, the, or as I understood it at that time, different races. Now I understand there's only one human race, but I didn't understand that before, that there was not a whole bunch of races. So I want to so thank you for 
given me understanding and given me revelation. And Father, I want to thank you for my family and how my family is surrounds me with truth and how even Father with home of prayer is the same thing. I'm surrounded with my biological family and with my spiritual family. I am so grateful as you direct my footsteps and as you baruch me to be able to read and write and uh, everything that that I'm doing, the Word says that all the works of my hands are Baruch. And the Word says, let your light so shine before men that they may glorify our Father who is in heaven. And that's you, Father. I desire to find something every day that will bring glory to your name. Thank you so much for having this wonderful conversation with me. I love you and so glad that you drew me to you when you did. In my mind, if I had known this when I was really young age, I, I probably would not have married. So I'm glad that you let me get married and have children and a husband, have, have a husband and children and family. I thank you for my daughter-in-law and I still hope for another one. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, it's, it's, it's what, what your, your, what you desire to have for the family. So I just want to thank you for all my brothers and sisters throughout the world. And Father, that we will, we, I will, I will try to do the very best I can so that people will know that if we are born again, we are all in this one body and we, we have to try to get along. The, the head can't say to the, to the foot, I don't need you. And the foot can't say to the hands, we don't need you. And the hands can't say to the heart, we don't need you because every part that you put together is needed. So thank you for this awesome day and thank you for, for, for sharing with us this morning, Father, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach.